Hey guys, Target Recycle at FPV, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on setting up a crossfire module uh, with antenna, my dog can quit going outside, uh, on a 2019 X90 Plus, okay? So we're going to get started with this, and remember that the X90 Plus comes with access, and because this is a customer, so here, let me do a picture in picture here so we can stay on this, and sorry about the dirty work area, but it's been a little crazy again. Okay, so again, this is something we're doing for a customer of ours. Actually, uh, I think he just wrote us. I don't even know if he bought this from us, but we're trying to help as many people as we can with this. So in either case, look, you send it to me. I told him, look, if you pay for shipping, I'll just do it for you at no charge, okay? Because, I mean, what's the point, right? Uh, we want to help everybody out. So again, if you have something like this and you want us to do it, you don't want to, you, you find that you're getting frustrated, just let me know. We'll get you taken care of, okay? So let's get to this. So this is the 2019 uh, X90 Plus. This is the access edition, as you can see right here. Um, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to start like this has not been done. So I'm going to go ahead. I have not turned this on yet, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, see what's waiting for me here. <clears throat> well look okay okay so so let me see what he's got okay so we are just going to wipe this entire system and start from scratch um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that now his voltage is kind of low on the on the uh, I'm going to set everything to center here because I know what we're going to have to do so his voltage is a little low on the battery I don't know how long it's going to last but we're going to see so let me just go ahead and uh, turn this off okay and I will share with you the um, new screen because I have deleted all the profiles that we were using um, during our uh, other updates. So let me just show you what I've got here. Uh, so here's our screen now, right? And I just got done doing the X90 Plus for a customer about five minutes ago. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to my profiles in, um, in uh, my OpenTX. Now, if you don't have OpenTX, uh, let me see how I wanna do this. So let's just do a new window here. And we're gonna to go to Cyclone FPV and I'll show you where the page is gonna be that goes with this video. So if you go to tutorials, we'll go to tutorials. I just created the page so I'd have a marker and here it is setting up TBS Crossfire uh, module. So if you go here, you'll find your links to the TBS agent, which we're gonna be using and you'll find your links to the OpenTX firmware, okay? So, uh, so you can download OpenTX. Now I'm not gonna get into 2.3.7 or how to do all that. What I am gonna do though is set up a new profile. Uh, for this. So if you don't know how to do the OpenTX stuff, I have videos on that. Please check out, search on our channel for OpenTX or I'll put a link on this thing for you. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the X9D Plus 2019, but I want to make a new customer. Um, see, I started changing these around because I had too many. Uh, I had too many radios here and they were all getting all messed up. So uh, I did this one. I did this one here. So let me see what I've got in here. So I've got bag of LSD cards. Yeah. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new one again. And so let me go here and let me click on my desktop, go to my transmitters. And I'm just going to say new. And we're just going to start from scratch. So if you if you are setting this up for the first time, if you watch this part, you'll probably um, you know be able to set yours up as well. Uh, customer, and we're going to do X9D uh, D plus uh, 2019 uh, underscore, because I think the special edition is going to use the same. So let me go right here. I'm going to go ahead and make my folder. So if you want to, if you want to follow along with this, you can. So we're going to do new folder, new folder, and we're going to call one backup. Okay, and we're going to do another one, new folder, and we're going to call another one, uh, card contents. All right. Okay, so that's going to be good for now. So now I'm going to do a radio profile, and I'm going to say, uh, let me see. Uh, add radio profile, and I'm going to call this one customer uh, X9D plus 2019. Uh, uh, let me see. I think it's uh, dash, I guess. Uh, SE. All right, so we'll just, it'll be for both. So, because if you look here, right, you have the 2019 right here, and then this, there's no. Uh, special edition difference uh, it doesn't differentiate between special edition and regular which means both those should be fine I'm going to select that I'm going to select my options here uh, and we'll do the font okay now I'm going to select my folder and so I'm going to go to uh, contents that can't be right so I'm going to go to transmitters I'm going to, go to desktop I got to find my folder here I already have one uh, no. so I'm going to go here here. Card contents, that'll be a card contents folder. And I'll go here for our backup folder. That's why we made those folders ahead of time. Uh, so that should fill in and we're going to enable automatic backups and uh, let me 
me see where I'm at. Okay, okay. I'm going to change the automatic backup folder because I'm starting to, what I kept doing was changing it to match, but um, it, that, that's not how it works. So it's actually, this automatic backup is one file for all the radios that you do. So we're just going to put that there and select this folder. Uh, let me see, everything else looks good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm going to click okay. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and, uh, let's see, I'm going to download this is the file that we're going to download so let's just go ahead and say check for updates okay and we're going to download this and we're going to save this uh, let me see transmitters and then we're going to go to x90 2019 and then we're going to make a new folder here called uh, opentx-fw okay save this and we're just going to run this down just so that we only have this part here now again guys i have a whole uh, video series on doing this that's why I'm not like really slowing down on this one because I just want to get it no I don't want to write just yet now I want to download the SD card contents and so that's going to be this one here which I already see x90 plus yeah I guess we're going to do that anyway so I'm going to go ahead and download this it's going to take a little bit to download but that's fine and while that's downloading I'm going to go ahead and come on over here and I'm going to go to the Fry Sky's website and just make sure I don't have I don't think there's an update I need from them right now, but I'm gonna check anyway. So let's go to downloads. And if there is, I'll put the links on the website. Uh, X90 plus 2019, right here. Let me see what they say for, um, maybe there's an internal module update, but I don't think so. I don't think, here, wait, hold on. Uh, ISRM, okay, so they do have an ISRM update. Um, I'm not going to the 2.1. I'm going to stay away from all of that altogether because you have to update everything at that point. So I think I'll take the 1.13, 1 uh, but before I load it, I'm going to check and make sure. So I'm going to download this anyway and save it. All right, so these are all going to come here. So I'm going to show this in folder and I'm going to go ahead and uh, that's here. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put it in my folder. Again, you can ignore this part because if you guys aren't doing this, uh, there's, I have videos on all this part. I just want to get this crossfire loaded. So let's go here and I'm going to go new folder. I'm going to call this one, um, FR sky, oops, FR sky TX dash FW. And I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to extract it next. Okay. And then let me make sure I'm at. So I'm going to cut this now, paste it here so I can get rid of that second folder. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid, whoops, yep, there it is, that's what I wanted right there. Okay, so now I can get rid of all these, there we go. Okay, so we've got our OpenTX firmware and we've got our FreeSky firmware. And the only other thing left to do is gonna to be to get our TBS agent, which I gave you a link. I showed you that we had a link on our website for that. So if you just come on over here and you click TBS agent, we're gonna download that. I think I already had it loaded before, but I figured we'll just go for it again. So here it's gonna load right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And our SD card content, by the way, is also done. So I'm going to click show in folder here and I'm going to take these and cut it. And I'm going to go to my desktop and then transmitters. And then I'm going to go to my 2019 right here. And then I'm going to go to my card contents. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to extract all of it. All right. And then from there, we're going to edit that. But here, let me go ahead and finish the TBS agent. I oh, see I did have it. So it's just modified, I guess. All right, so I already had it loaded. Now I gotta find it though, so let me just. Let's put that here. So I'm gonna click that, open the TBS agent. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna now go ahead and get our module here, right? And we're gonna connect it Okay, so I'm gonna use the micro SB. 
which is, I took it off, so I need to plug that back in real quick, one second. Okay, we're gonna plug the micro USB into the bottom here, just like that. And there it goes, it detected it. And then we're gonna just say to go ahead and update it. So this is the newest update, so we're gonna click update. Okay, and we're just gonna watch it. You're gonna see it blinking green here and it's gonna update. So we're gonna let that go. While that's happening, uh, we're also gonna check back on our other items. So let's see our, here's our SD card contents and here's the extracted folder. We know in sounds, we don't, uh, where's all my sounds? Uh oh, hold on a sec, maybe it's, oh, it's not done extracting, my bad. I'll let it keep going. Yeah, it's still extracting. Okay. Taking a little bit longer. You can see that here. It's still going. I thought it may have been done, but it's not. All right. So we, we're doing our update here, so that's still going. All right. This is for the crossfire side, so just hang tight, and you'll see how that's going to work. And guys, like I said, I'm zooming through this part because I've already done the how to set up an X9D 2019. So all that stuff about downloading the firmware and doing the, that's already online under our channel. Um, so please, this is really just for the crossfire, but to do this, I just happen to be updating our uh, page today, uh, uh, my files today for the customers. And so that's why I'm going through all this stuff again. All right. Uh, and on this page here, I will put the video on here as well. So you can, um, so you can watch the video and then use these links if you need. So let's see how this is going. That's good. And let's see how our extraction is going. All right. That's good. All right. TBS is almost done. And our firmware extraction, oh my gosh, this is taking forever. So this is our SD card contents. And again, we're gonna delete all the sound files because that's the majority of this and all the different languages that we're not gonna use. So we're gonna end up deleting those. So and now let me put let me put this here. But before I load that um, uh, ISRM, I'm going to make sure, I wanna see what's on here with this new update uh, from OpenTX, okay? So if it's already updated, then I'm not gonna mess with it. We're gonna see. Okay, so TBS is now done, and it says that we're good. We have 2.42, 2.42, so we're done, and we can go ahead and now unplug it. So now our, our module is ready, right? So here's our module. We're going to leave that there. We can close our TBS agent, and we're still waiting for this. this these files do take forever, uh, but um, uh, we should be done here shortly. Kind of shortly. It's taking a while. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and plug our radio in, and you're going to see that whole process. We're going to update the firmware on here, update the SD card on here, and then from there, we should be pretty much done, okay? So we're at 87%. Just hang tight a little bit longer. Let me go to my downloads folder. Uh, okay, so let me just go here and see what I've got. Card contents is extracting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end up taking these firmware files and dropping them in the card, card contents firmware folder, all right? I also created default... Um, uh, models now that are going to be loaded when I do somebody's radio. So you're going to have model one will be your D16, model two will be your D8, and model three will be your um, uh, long range. Okay. So here is the uh, here's the files that were extracted. So we're going to go to sounds and we're going to just delete all of these because these are huge. So let's just delete these right off the bat. Okay. And then we're going to go here and here, and we're going to delete these two. All right. So now we've got our sounds removed. Now we're going to take our contents of here, we're going to cut those out and we're going to go to our card contents folder. And we're just going to paste them right here because they need to be in the base of the card contents folder, right? So we're going to take that. Excellent. Now I'm going to remove this one, delete it, and I'm going to cut the original zip file out. So I'm going to click cut and I'm just going to go back and drop it in here. So I'm just going to paste it here and leave it in the main folder. Now I'm going to take these firmware, I'm going to cut these and I'm going to put them in the card contents folder under firmware and they're going to paste right here. Okay. All right, so now when I do the synchronization of our card contents, which you're going to see me do in a second, all our stuff's going to go, including our firmware, so we can update the radio properly, all right? So let me move this now, and let's put the radio here, all right? And we're going to get our radio, we're going to get our USB to connect our radio. And to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take our radio, and we're going to hold our two uh, sub-trims down here in, and we're going to press the power button. And let me get going. 
There we go. And, and as we do that, we're going to press the power button and it's going to get us to the screen here, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the radio to the USB. You're going to hear it initialize like you just did, okay? And I'm going to see if I can prop this up so you guys can see the screen as it goes. Just don't like it hitting that. Um, let's see, I'll put a couple of these things to see if that can. I don't know if you can see that, but that'll at least stay there. Okay, so what's open right now is what's on the SD card, right? So there's nothing in the model, there's nothing on the main card, but here is the, um, the, the, the EEPROM files and all that. So that's fine, we're gonna close both of these. And now let's, let's just close everything down and kind of get to where we wanna be here. So let's just close it all and get to OpenTX, okay? So uh, we've downloaded all that, so we click OK. Now, here's our icons here that we wanna use. We are on an X9D Plus 2019, so we know that that's set. So we've got two options. So the first thing is we can synchronize our SD card. So that means take everything that's in our SD card folder that we just created, which is right here, uh, and we want to go make sure you're in the right folder. So we're going to go to the one I just created, transmitters, X9, this one here, and there's our card contents. We're going to select that folder, and it's got our D, um, our, um, our D drive, which is our, if you look on your computer here, the D drive is going to be the USB drive that's connected to your, that's uh, got your SD card in on the radio. So that's fine. And the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say go both directions, but I'm going to go to, um, we're going to go pick the first one. So we're going to go to the destination folder first. So here goes, ready? And we're going to click start. And it's going to start synchronizing the stuff on our hard drive onto our radio, which means all of our items like our, uh, our firmware, our SD card content, everything. So that now when you turn it on, you'll be able to hear it talk and do whatever else. So that's going to take a little bit. Now at the same time that that's happening, I want to go ahead and bring the models in, okay? So I'm going to click open. I have models already saved, right? So I'm going to click open. And I'm going to go to the one that I created uh, for customer just a minute ago. So I'm going to go to card contents and go to models. I'm going to open this one here. There they are. These are the defaults that I'm putting on. Now the fourth one, I didn't create this one because I wasn't using Crossfire. But uh, I will go ahead and uh, may do that here. So let me just... Let me move this over and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to click duplicate model and I'm going to name this one. See, LR stands for long range. So just, I'm just going to do, um, uh, I'll just do this one TBS. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is the only thing I need to do is I need to come down here to uh, protocol and I think it should be on here, although maybe it's not. <laughs> yeah, right here. So I'm going to select TBS crossfire. There we go. And everything else is already set. See, I've already done the inputs here. So flight modes, inputs, they're all done already. So I'm just going to click uh, close the X now. And there now I have this and I'm going to click file and I'm going to click save as and I'm going to go put this in my um, 2019 uh, models some of the card contents. I'm going to go to models and I'm going to do four, four base models here. Four. Okay, save. All right. Now, our card contents here are done, right? So the problem is I just updated that file. So I'm gonna click start again. There should be one more file now that it copies. Uh oh, my wife's yelling at the dogs. So we just got the file moved over. So there it is, that one file which was created, which was gonna be our models. And I think if you look, where is that? Uh, I don't know if it shows it here, but there was one file. Now, that was the file that we moved. So now what I wanna do is I'm just gonna, I'm going to go ahead and update the firmware on the radio. <clears throat> so I'm going to go here and I'm going to say right firmware to radio and I'm going to find uh, it, it's in customer X9D plus 2019 and that's the firmware we just did. So I'm going to click, I want to load that. Whoops, sorry. Let me go ahead and click load. And we're going to go to um, my desktop. I'm going to go to my transmitters, X9D plus it right here. Our contents, firmware, open TX, and there it is. Double click that. Okay, and then there it is, and I'm gonna click right to TX. Well, that's too bad. So I, okay, so I got this error that says it's not compatible. So I'm gonna do this again, but this time I'm gonna write from order right now. I know this is the open TX for 2019 SE, okay? So I'm gonna tell, this time I'm just gonna remove hardware compatibility check. There is an issue with that happening. So I'm gonna click right to TX again, and this time it's gonna go without, I'm not even worried about it. So if you do get that error and you're sure you have the right firmware, then don't worry, okay? You can just remove that hardware check. Now, if you do it again, watch. Now, if I do it again and I put the hardware check, well, they write to TX, I believe that error doesn't come back now, okay? 
Oh, we'll wait a minute here, wait for it to close. Okay, see, so now the error's gone. Now, I wanna write the models too, so I'm gonna go up here. This new models that I just created, uh, I wanna go ahead and uh, write the models to the radio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click these two, and I'm gonna write, now these came from an X9D plus 2019, not, I'm sorry, X9D plus, not 2019 edition, but there was no problem there. So it copied those over, and I'm gonna go ahead and also now update my, um, Again, you can ignore all this because it's not gonna make any sense here. I'm gonna go to my models and I'm gonna save this here. So I'm gonna delete this one. I don't want that one there anymore because now we have the, um, make this four base models. There we go. Save that there as well. Okay, so we've done our updates now. So we've, we've done our flash updates. We flashed the firmware. So now let's go ahead and what we wanna do now is we wanna get out of this. So find your USB icon at the bottom here and just start ejecting. Uh, uh, the, uh, the drives. Once you've ejected both drives, you can pull the USB card out and you're gonna get to the screen here and I'll show you now what this looks like. So you're gonna get to this screen uh, that says to write the firmware. So I'm just gonna go to exit. No, I didn't wanna do that. Let me go to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, Switch warning. excellent. So, so far we've got, and if I go to my page, um, let me see what I've got here. Let me make sure that I've got on my menu. Uh, so there's all our options here. So this is our new setup, but what I have not done yet is I have not um, uh, updated the, uh, the uh, bootloader. So I'm gonna power off. Oh no, sorry, I'm, not, I'm gonna do this differently for you guys. So I'm gonna hold menu down, and then I'm gonna hit page and go to my SD card contents, and I'm gonna go to firmware. I'm gonna go to my OpenTX firmware, and I'm gonna find my OpenTX 2.3.7 and click it. I guess you long hold it, click flash bootloader. It's gonna flash it, and click exit. All right, and now I'm going to power off. Okay, now we're gonna power back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, no errors, no nothing, everything looks good. All right, now I wanna bring the models over here, so I'm gonna see, um, so I'm gonna hit menu, and I'm gonna hit page, I'm gonna to go to firmware, no, sorry, I'm gonna to go to menu and page, and then I'm gonna to go to models. And there's my four base right here. So I'm gonna click that, click it. Uh, let me see, let me go back to my models here. I'm gonna restore my model. Oh, it doesn't find it on my SD card. Okay, hold on a second, because that didn't copy over. So let me just go ahead and close this out. All right, so I'm gonna go here get back in this. I just want to see if my models are going to copy over. So I'm going to plug this back into the computer because I didn't get my models to copy over here. So let me just see what I've got. All right. So here's my models right here, right? And I want to write these. Let me make sure I get this right here. So I want to write these to my radio. Okay, so once they're written, I'm gonna go ahead and read from my radio to make sure they copy this time. So I can type a second. Okay, so there they are. So now they're on the radio, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and eject again. And again, guys, I'm not really spending much time on this part because I'm just wanting to do the crossfire. But I'm having to do this because this radio wasn't set up. So I'm gonna unplug this. Let's go to exit. Welcome to FTN. There we go. Now you can see the models that are here, right? So you can go to page. Sorry, menu, and then you can see all the models right here, okay? So I have the TBS one here. So at this point, all I need to do now is just take this and plug it in, okay? Just like that. There you go. Now, you notice that there's no light on here on the back, right? So you'll, you'll notice now. Now, this is where this tutorial is supposed to be covering. So we've done the update. Got some of the styrofoam in here. So you notice that there's not light on. But if you go now and you select the model, Wow, this calibration, I want to show you guys something, by the way. I don't know if you can see this, but look at this calibration. So if you open your, if you turn your radio on and look at, look at where the stick it's saying it is. Okay. So this little dot represents where the, let me get the light shining out of there. Okay. This little dot represents where it says the stick is, but it's not. The stick is right here, straight down. So this needs to be calibrated. Look at this one. This one has it in the top right, but this is in the center. Okay. So look when I move it. So we need to calibrate. So let's just do that first before we set everything else up. So let's hit menu. Hold menu down. So from here, right, you're on the main page. Hold menu down, okay? And just long hold it for a little bit. Let me zoom out. 
and then hold down page and hold down page again and we're going to go to calibration okay and it's going to tell you put your sticks in the center if you hit enter put your sticks in the center put everything in the center the dials here and then the dials on the side make sure everything's in the center as best as it can now hit enter and just move the sticks to their extreme points but don't press hard okay so just kind of move them just to extreme ends one up and down left and right okay and then turn your dials all the way one to the other and then same on the side okay and then you can hit enter again when you're done now if we go to our main page look at that everything's centered now okay all right that being said we're going to go now and uh let's see i want to go to our menu real quick because i wanted to check what the internal module was set up so i'm going to hold i'm going to go hold long a long hold menu and then click page just keep going we want to look the date's not set nothing set here so let's go ahead and do that and we're just going to take this to 2020. this me and this little dial don't work very well but five 31, and it is now 132, so let's go to 13. Okay, and then let's go to our, uh, we're in, I don't know, the time zone is where he's at, so I'm going to leave that alone, but let me just make sure that everything else here is okay. Okay, DAR, that looks good. All right, so everything out looks good. So let's just go to page and go to the next page, next page, next page, next page. Okay, so let's look at mo modules and RX versions. So internal module, uh, it's off. So let's go ahead and let me, let me go to our menu here. Let's put our first model. Let's see what we have here. Internal module. We're going to put this on D16, ACCSD D16. Okay, and then now I want to go back menu and i'm gonna long hold this and get there so let me go here so it's 1.1.3 1 and i believe that was the update that we had an option to so let me see uh, let me find that real quick i think it was 1.1.3 1 it is 1.1.3 1 .1 that's already done so you can see that it's already on there so i'm not going to worry about that we don't have an external module turned on just yet um, I'm trying to figure, you know what, I'm going to do this anyway because I want to see something. So let me just go to menu and let me go, go to my firmware. I want to see if, I'm going to update it anyway. So I'm going to flash internal module. I'm going to do it just because I want to see if it changes any version of it at all. Now, guys, look, I, like I said, um, trust me when I tell you, I get it, okay? So this is like, I'm moving fast. I'm not really walking through the steps here because, again, I just wanted to do the crossfire setup for the customer. I told him I would record this for him uh, so he could see me do the work. Um, but here's the deal. Uh, this can be kind of tricky. I, I get it, and it can be frustrating. I get it, okay? And most of the time, people think their hardware is broken, and it's not. It's just people not understanding it. Um, so that's why we do offer it. If you want to ship your stuff here, I don't care if you bought it from me or not. If you want to ship it here and you want me to update it for you and you want to pay for shipping back to you, I'll do it. And there's no charge, okay? Um, I, I think it's, it works for me that way. And hopefully in the future, if you want to bring some business here, that'd be great too. Um, but uh, uh, just understand that, you know, I try to set these up so that they're easy for everybody to use. Um, and I remember when I was frustrated doing it and I'm not looking to make, uh, I'm not looking to take any money from anybody to do this. So if you do need help, please just let me know, okay? Um, I think shipping can be anywhere from like, I don't know, 13 bucks or whatever. So, I mean, you figure out what it's worth to you as far as how much time you spent. If you want me to do it, I'll do it for you, okay? Uh, so, let me just get back to this now. Let's see where we're at. We're almost done updating here. Make sure our switches are all in the right position. Okay. All right, so this is almost done. And I'm just going to go check the firmware out because I want to see what it reads across both sides. Uh, and then from there, uh, we'll be able to put in the crossfire, or the crossfire is in, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do there, and then we're done. <clears throat> oh, that's a Fox News update. Let's see what's going on. Law enforcement officer killed in Oakland. God darn it. That's a wrong with everybody guys I mean come on 
Oh, this doesn't make any sense. All right, says it's successful. Hey, I was just gonna say a prayer for that that guy. I mean, my God. Oh, all right. Let me just stay focused. Okay, so um, we're gonna go menu, and we're gonna go back to that screen now, and I want to see uh, where we're at. Some modules. Okay, so yeah, it was the same. So we didn't have to do it. I just wanted to verify that it was gonna stay that way. Okay. All right. So if you see that on here, if you've done your update the way I'm doing it, then you don't have to do the. Um, uh, ISRM update, but I just wanted to verify. Okay, so what we want to do now is, like I said, you can see that the um, crossfire is not lit up, and that's because the external module is not on. So I'm going to go and I'm going to click uh, down to my TBS page. And I'm, I'm going to click it once. I'm going to select that model. Oh, I don't want to delete. See me and this little dot don't work well. All right, so it's loaded, and now you can see that it's on. Okay, and the reason it's on is because if I go to that page. I have the um, external module, you can see right here, the external module is on, okay? And so it's set for Crossfire. So you're done. At this point, guys, Crossfire is ready to go. The light is on, everything's good to go, and this radio is ready to be connected to a, uh, to a transmitter, or to a receiver, I mean. And you can just, uh, I guess I can put this antenna on just to kind of give you the whole overall look of what this is. All right, and there you go. That's it, all right? All right, guys, look, I, I know that video is kind of quick. Uh, I'm, I'm really distracted, and I can't believe that this news is like it is. I, I don't get it, so I'm going to go and, 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 and read up on this a little bit. But if you guys have any questions, please go to our website, uh, cyclonfu.com. Use our contact page over there. And then please, as always, try to support us by following us on Facebook and just subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll keep doing videos like these at no charge for everybody. I don't ask for any money. Just subscribe and help get the word out so we can get some more business, okay? All right, guys, God bless. Be safe. And please, look, look. Just I'll say this and I'll leave it alone. I, was, I wasn't born in the States, okay? I was born in Beirut, in the Middle East, where wars all the time, right? And I'm going to tell you, no matter how bad you think it is here, no matter how bad you think it gets, it's, it's night and day from what people deal with over there where there's war all the time and everybody's killing everybody. There are bad seeds here. There are bad seeds everywhere. But don't let a bad seed turn you into a bad seed, all right? Just stay strong. Try to get along with everybody. And the very least, remember, you know, at the end of the day, we're all human. More important, there's kids out there that we need to protect. Killing everybody, killing police, killing innocent, none of it makes sense. But the answer to it isn't to go ahead and start uh, killing other people or hurting your own people, whatever it is. All right. And I know everybody's heard that already, but take it from somebody that was not born here. All right. You don't take this for granted. No matter how bad you think it is, it is worse everywhere else. All right. So let's work together to make it better. That's all. All right, God bless, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.